Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a clickable carousel of DV modules. So this is the final design that we're aiming for. So we're going to be doing this for the images and also for blog posts. So what we need in order for us to execute this tutorial, we are going to need some CSS code. We're also going to need some JavaScript, some images, and beforehand you need to create about eight posts with featured images on them. So all this information for you to follow step by step will be linked in to the post in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. So I'm over here in my admin dashboard. So the first thing I did was create this page called home. So you can name your page whatever you want. And then the next thing we're going to do here is to click on use the DV builder and then click on use visual builder. So the next thing we're going to do here is to go into the section settings, click on advanced, click on CSS ID and classes. Now here we need to add our CSS class. So I'm going to paste my class in here. Now, if you want to follow step by step and um, use all the settings that we're using now, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So now that we have our class in place, go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our class onto the row. So I'm going to come over here, click the gear icon to access the settings, click on advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then I'm going to paste my class in here as well. Click on save. Now it's time to add our images. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button here and add a single column. And in here, we're going to add our image module. So I'm going to search for it like that select my image module and now it's time to upload our images now if you haven't uploaded your images to your media library you need to go ahead and do that in my case i already have all my images in my media library so i'm going to click on upload so here are all my images in my media library so in your case if you haven't got these you just click on upload and then click on select files and locate these images on your computer okay so over here again the size is um 1080 by 675 so make sure those are the measurements if you'd like to get the same results as we are working out here okay so now that i've selected my image go ahead now and click upload an image so now my image has been added now here's here's the, what you can do here on the link you can either choose to open this in a light box or you can add a url so in my case i'm just going to add a blank url like that. Now, before we save, we need to come over here to the advanced tab, click on CSS ID and classes. And this time we're going to add a CSS ID. And this is the CSS ID carousel module. Okay. So now that we've got, got that in place, let's go ahead now and save. Now, what we need to do is to add quite a few of these images. So go ahead and add about five or six of these images for carousel to work. So to make things easier, I'm just going to duplicate this a few times and then replace these images with the image that I need. So I'm going to do one example and then uh, you can go ahead and do the rest. So I'm going to come into the settings here so I can change the image. So I'm going to click on upload, click my second one here, upload an image, save. Now go ahead and do that until you have all your six or seven images in place. Okay, so now that we've added, we've added all the images, next let's add a brand new section. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, click on regular, and then we're going to need two columns. I'm going to close this for now, and then go into the row sections. So I'm going to click here, and then click advanced because we need to add our CSS ID. Click on CSS ID and classes, and then I'm going to paste my CSS ID in here. Go ahead and save. Right, so now that we have our CSS ID in place, let's add our two modules. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our text module. I'm going to search for it and select it. So in here, there's two modes. So there's a visual mode and text mode. So this is the text we need to add, but make sure you're adding this in the text mode. Okay, so now that I have that, go ahead now and save. Next, I am going to just uh, clone this and drag it into position to the right like that. And then I'm going to go into the settings of this text module and change this value from eight to nine like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. Now that we have all this in place, the next thing we're going to do is to add the CSS code. So now I'm just going to save this page and exit the visual builder and then we're going to go and add our css code so i'm going to click on exit visual builder 
and then click on dashboard, theme options. So we can either add our CSS code here where it says custom CSS, or we can come over here to appearance and then click on customize. Click on additional CSS and paste it here. Now I prefer pasting my CSS code here because I can see all my changes happening here compared to the other example that I've just shown you. So now that I've added my CSS code, you can see here there's a change that has happened but it's not over yet because what this has done is it has changed those text uh, entries into these two buttons here. So for now I'm going to click on publish and then we're going to add our JavaScript which is going to change how everything here all works. So I'm going to close out of this. To add our JavaScript what we need to do is to come over here to Divi theme options and then click on integration. So our JavaScript needs to go into the head uh, of the blog. So I'm going to come over here and paste my JavaScript code. Click on Save Changes. So now we're going to go onto our home page and take a look. Okay, so we are here on our main page. So if I just refresh this page one more time, we can see now that our buttons are in place. Now that JavaScript that we, um, we added earlier on should be able to make a cycle through this carousel. Let's see that works. So if I click it once here, you can see that it is working. If I click back, it goes back. Now here's the thing. By default, this has been set to cycle through five images. So if you'd like to go through more images, you can always go in and add more images to this. Um, so here now, if I do that, you can see that we have more images now here to cycle through. Now, in the next example, let's do this using the blog module. So what we'll be doing now will be cycling through the blog posts. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go in and add our new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click regular. And then I'm going to add a single row. And then here we're going to add a blog. And the first thing I'm going to do is to add my CSS class. So I'm going to come over here and paste my class. Next, let's come over here to the content. So post number, I'm going to add a one in here. And our offset, I'm going to set this to zero. So now that I have my offset number set, I'm just going to go ahead now and save. So now we have our first blog post. So there's something here that I hadn't told you. Now, if you don't have any blog posts on your, on your website, you need to go ahead and add these blog posts and also add the images in order for this to show. So what I'm going to do next is to clone these blog posts. And then after cloning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these into the settings like that and then our offset number on each one I'm gonna I'm gonna plus this I'm gonna add one to them so our first one here was zero so this one's gonna be one like that and then clone this my next one now is going to be two like that and so on so you want to continue doing this until you've added all the um, blog posts that you need with this offset numbers. This is very important because this is what shows the next blog post. So let's go ahead and do that until you have all your blog posts in place. Okay, so now that we have all our blog posts like this, all we have to do now is to go and add our CSS code so that our blog post will show like this grid. Now, as I mentioned before, this CSS code can be found on the blog that I'll link to in the show notes below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new video tutorials similar to what you've seen today. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.